Six years ago to this day, Korea became a member of the OECD's Development Assistance Committee, which means it became an official donor nation. It's such a feat that Korea marks this day as the official development assistance day. Korea as a donor country, what does this mean and what kind of a role should this nation play going forward? South Korea from aid recipient to a donor. Our news feature tonight, first with our Lee Soon. Here in Korea, November 25th is also known as Official Development Assistance Day, as it's a day when the country joined the OECD's Development Assistance Committee six years ago. Korea's becoming member of DAC means that Korea now uh, has to help other countries as a, not only moral obligation but also mandatory obligation as a part of a national policy. Korea's brief donation history began two and a half decades ago with small volunteer dispatches and modest loans. But since then, Korea's contributions in development aid expanded in volume, amounting to a total of over 2 billion U.S. dollars in 2013, a 60 fold jump. And there's still more that Korea has to offer. It's not just about economic development or science and technology. Korea can share its learning on balanced development, like know-how in social development and experience in democratization. President Park Geun-hye also vowed to expand Korea's assistance to developing countries in a speech to the UN Sustainable Development Summit last September. With the president's ODA drive, the government aims to expand its assistance volume by 35 percent to 0.2 percent of its total gross national income by 2020. Lee Seo-in, Arirang News.